February 2001, two men decided to spend the day four-wheeling in a very remote area in the north end of the San Gabriel Mountains, an area called Messenger Flats. It's a thickly forested area with lots of pine and oak trees. The witness recalled that even though it was a winter day, the mountains were surprisingly snow-free. It was cloudy and misty, and being at around 5,000 foot elevation, they were in the clouds. After four-wheeling for a while, the pair decided to stop and enjoy some lunch. They found a small area with an old campfire arrangement, and the witness, the driver, backed up against a large bush. In his rearview mirror, he spotted something large and dark move behind the bush. When he turned around to see what it was, nothing was there. He quickly brushed it off and went back to parking. After lunch, the man and his friend got out of the truck to empty their bladders. The witness walked one way in an area beside his truck while the friend walked the other way off further into the woods. The driver finished first and returned to his truck. His friend returned a bit later. Right away, the driver recognized that his friend was acting strange. He was very quiet. As they sat there, they suddenly heard a loud thud on the ground next to the truck. The driver asked his friend if he heard that, to which his friend said, yes. Suddenly another thud happened, and this time the driver saw a large rock land next to his vehicle. Quote, I looked at him and he looked at me and said, we needed to leave right now. I said, okay, as I was feeling uneasy as well. We started to drive off down this road, and he looked at me and said he needed to tell me something, unquote. The passenger went on to tell of how, as they were sitting in the truck just prior to getting out to urinate, he had heard some noises like small rocks landing next to his side of the truck. He chose not to say anything. Instead, he simply got out and walked off into the woods to do his business. At this point, things would go from strange to downright eerie. According to the friend, when he was off in the woods urinating, he heard someone walking through the woods in his direction. He initially assumed that it was his friend, so he began talking to him. Oddly, there was no response, so he turned around to see what was going on. And that's when he caught sight of his friend, standing all the way over by his truck. Thoroughly spooked by the prospect that he and his friend were not alone out there, he quickly zipped up and made his way back to the truck. What happened next is chilling. I will quote directly from the driver about what his friend saw. Quote, As he was walking back to my truck, he looked up the road and next to this pine tree, he said he saw this creature standing there looking at him. He said he could see the hair on the head and shoulders blowing in the wind. As he was standing there looking at this, some fog rolled in and blocked the tree from view. When the fog went by, this creature was no longer there." Unquote. The driver recognized that his friend was very disturbed by his sighting and decided to leave. Interestingly, the very next day, the driver decided to return to look for prints, but he claims that despite the area being muddy, he could find no definitive print or anything else. Quote, I left a 20 pound bag of apples and two large heads of cabbage. I returned the next day and there was not any sign of the apples or cabbage anywhere, not even a core, nothing. I walked all over the area looking for even a piece of apple or cabbage, but could not find anything." Unquote. In his report, the man noted that he had heard of people encountering a strange hairy hominid creature in the area. Quote, My friend served in the U.S. Army and is a big man. But he was very shaken up, and the look in his eyes as he told me, this convinced me he was telling the truth, unquote.